A new AI model just dropped, and it's making serious waves across the industry. Meet Kimi K2, a 1 trillion parameter open source language model created by Moonshot AI, and it's already being called a GPT-4 killer. Why? Because it's not only free and open, but it also runs faster, cheaper, and in some cases better than leading models like GPT-4.1, Claude Sonnet, and Gemini. Kimi K2 is fully integrated with major platforms like OpenRouter, Klein, Kilo, and Claude Code, and it's clocking in at an insane 222 tokens per second on Grow, making it one of the fastest open models available right now. In this video, we'll show you why Kimi K2 might be the most important open source AI release of 2025. Kimi K2 isn't just another open source model, it's a statement from Moonshot AI that the era of closed, expensive AI is about to be disrupted. At its core, Kimi K2 is a 1 trillion parameter model, which puts it in the same heavyweight class as GPT-4 and Gemini 1.5. But here's the difference. It's completely open, incredibly fast, and surprisingly powerful across benchmarks like reasoning, code generation, and agent-style workflows. Moonshot's bold move didn't just come out of nowhere. This release has been described as the Deep Seek Phi 4 moment of the open source world, a model that closes the gap between free and paid AI. Developers are calling it Claude Sonnet, but open. And that's not just hype. In coding benchmarks, Kimi K2 competes toe to toe with GPT 4 and Claude, especially when combined with tools like Grow, where it hits speeds of 222 tokens per second. But the most shocking part, it's been so disruptive that, according to some insiders, OpenAI delayed a model release just to avoid getting buried in the news cycle. Whether you're building apps, running agents, or scaling infrastructure, Kimi K2 just became the smartest open model in the room. One of the biggest reasons Kimi K2 is making headlines is because of what it unlocks for developers. This isn't just about performance, it's about access, flexibility, and ecosystem control. Most top-tier models like GPT-4.1 or Claude Sonnet are gated behind high costs, API limits, and closed platforms. Kimi K2 flips that script. It's fully open, accessible through major platforms like OpenRouter, and deployable via Claude Code, OpenCode, Kilo, and Klein. That means developers can build agents, apps, and tools with zero paywall friction. They can test advanced use cases, like auto-GPT-style workflows, multi-agent orchestration, and multimodal integration, without worrying about hitting quotas or subscription walls. And the performance? It's shockingly competitive. Multiple testers noted that Kimi K2 handles long-form reasoning, code generation, and task memory just as well as GPT-4 in many scenarios. It even outperformed Claude Sani in long context completions and custom agent use. Then there's speed. This model runs at up to 222 tokens per second using Grow's backend. That's not just fast, it's blazingly efficient, especially for power users running multi-step workflows or local deployments. What we're seeing is more than just another open source release. Kimi K2 is giving developers access to enterprise-grade intelligence without the enterprise-grade price tag. And in a world where agents and automation are the future, that changes everything. Kimi K2 isn't just an open source model, it's a direct threat to the dominance of big AI labs like OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google DeepMind. What makes it disruptive isn't just the size. One trillion parameters is impressive, but it's the combination of speed, openness, and community access that's shaking up the ecosystem. Moonshot AI has managed to release a model that's fast enough to power real-time agents, accurate enough to rival closed models, and cheap enough to scale without breaking budgets. That's a deadly combination for companies that rely on monetizing access to intelligence. Even more surprising, according to transcript details, OpenAI allegedly delayed one of their model announcements to avoid being overshadowed by the Kimi K2 launch. That alone shows how seriously this model is being taken behind the scenes. We're also seeing Kimi K2 being called the Claude Sané of open source and DeepSeek V4's next evolution, two models that were already pushing boundaries. Now with Kimi K2, the open source community has a flagship model that's competitive at the highest level, and it doesn't stop at chatbots. 
Devs are now using Kimi K2 and multi-agent systems, code generation pipelines, autonomous tools for research, writing, and even app development. With zero cost access and lightning fast inference, Kimi K2 opens the door for solo developers, startups, and global teams to build at the same level as billion dollar labs. This is what real disruption looks like, free, fast, and shockingly powerful, and the AI industry won't stay the same. With Kimi K2, Moonshot AI hasn't just launched a fast, powerful model, they've drawn a line in the sand. This is open source's boldest move yet against closed commercial AI. Let's break down what this means long-term. First, Kimi K2 proves that open models can now match or beat elite closed models, not just in benchmarks, but in real-world tasks like reasoning, coding, and agentic workflows. That gives developers, startups, and educators access to intelligence that used to cost hundreds or thousands per month. Second, it's pushing open infrastructure forward. The model is already available on multiple backends like OpenRouter and integrates easily into Grow, Claude Code, and open code workflows. That makes it plug and play for AI builders who don't want to depend on big tech APIs. Third, it's creating pressure on companies like OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google to either drop prices, open up access, or accelerate releases. That kind of competitive pressure is exactly what fuels rapid innovation. And finally, Kimi K2 is redefining what open source AI actually means. It's not just about publishing weights anymore. It's about building models that are usable, fast, developer-friendly, and production-ready. We're witnessing a shift in power. For the first time, it feels like open source isn't catching up. It's leading. The question now isn't if open models can compete. It's how long closed models can keep up. So there you have it. Kimi K2 the open source AI model that just shook the foundations of the industry. It's one trillion parameters strong. It runs at a blazing 222 tokens per second. It integrates across Grow, Open Router, Claude Code, Kilo, and more. And it's already going head to head with the likes of GPT 4.1, Claude Sonnet, and Gemini 1.5 Pro. But what makes Kimi K2 truly special isn't just the numbers. It's what it represents. A future where AI power isn't locked behind corporate firewalls. A future where developers, researchers, students, even indie hackers can access world-class intelligence without needing millions in VC funding. This is more than just another model drop. It's a turning point in the open source movement. And judging by the reaction from the big players, this one caught them off guard. So what do you think? Drop a comment. Is Kimi K2 the future of open AI? Is this the start of a real open source revolution or just hype? If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell because the AI wars are heating up and we're tracking every model that matters. Thanks for watching. The smartest model in the room? It might just be free and it might just be Kimi K2.